Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another bit. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Into the Venom Verse, and today we are going to go see Into the Spider Verse. And I want to give a big shout out to my friend Andrew and to Sony Pictures for making all this happen. This is so awesome. And so we're going to head out. Uh, I'm leaving now. I just got home a little bit ago, walked my dog, changed, put on my nice outfit. I got my sweater back there, and uh, I'm going to take as many pictures as I can. Uh, you know, some of you probably saw them on Instagram. That's where I'll be uploading uh, the pictures that I take, and then any videos and stuff. I'll just compile them all here in this episode, and then I'll give you my general thoughts, non spoilers of the movie at the end of this episode and then later when the embargo lifts and everything like that or I can get more into detail or it makes more sense to do a spoiler review maybe I'll do it then like after the weekend the movie comes out that way I don't spoil anything for you guys who uh, you know want to watch the show but don't want spoilers so we'll save our spoiler review for them but I'll give you my general thoughts at the end of the episode and just my thoughts on the night in general like I'll try to separate what I thought of the movie and then you know obviously the fun that I'm most likely going to have at this event so again Andrew everyone thank you so much for making this happen and let's get to it. different is what makes you Spider-Man. Oh, what's up, everyone? How's it going? Uh, yes, I am back. As you saw that footage, so awesome. And now that Post Malone song is in my head, and uh, I'm trying to learn the lyrics of it. Um, I'll have to look online. Maybe they posted them somewhere. Uh, but yes, I'm home now. It's Sunday morning. I had an amazing time last night. I want to give a big thank you to Sony Pictures, obviously, uh, for having this great event. And then also my friend Andrew, uh, Be Conventional. I'll put links to his Instagram and his Twitter down below. 
please check him out. Please follow him. Really nice guy. Uh, we met last year at the Justice League, um, you know, you know, I guess the red carpet uh, big event uh, where I invited Dave the Film Junkie and he couldn't make it in time because he had like another screening at the actual Warner Brother lot. And so I just went and met random people in line and Andrew was one of those guys and we've stayed in touch over the year. And uh, he's been a really awesome dude and he's going to be building up a channel at some point soon. He's making a lot of videos on Instagram and he's just a really cool, really chill, laid back and very kind dude and uh, the fact that he invited me to this was super awesome and so thank you Andrew and again thank you Sony for everything I had a blast uh, as you saw you know all the footage there with some of the music I played over it uh, hopefully you enjoyed that it's it was such a good time um, you know the movie itself we'll talk about here in a minute but I want to kind of separate like the event the night itself and the you know the movie itself and the movie we'll talk about a little but I won't get into spoilers I'll just give you kind of my general feelings of the movie and uh, and then we'll do like a spoiler review when the movie comes out I don't want to like you know put a spoiler review up before the movie comes out here in the US and you know you guys are you know some of you might be tempted to watch it or other people might who don't normally come to the channel might come and watch it and leave a bunch of comments that you know in the comment section so I don't want to like you know muddy that too much uh, you know or, or put that out there so we'll save my spoiler review for after the movie comes out because I'm probably gonna go see it again and I really need to see it a second time to process some of the stuff in it and I'll get into why here in a minute uh, but as far as the night goes you know I think the footage showed you know it, you know spoke for itself it showed everything uh, we yeah, I got there about like 2 30 and then me and Andrew went to will call we picked up our tickets they gave us uh, like this ticket here uh, which gave us our seat number and everything. We were up in the balcony uh, in the theater where, you know, the stars and everyone was. Uh, there was two screens. They had like two theaters across the street from each other and there was screenings at both of them. When you went in, they gave you this uh, and then all, and then I think they gave like kids, like they gave a lot of stuff to kids, which was awesome. You know, that's pretty much kind of who the movie's for. Um, but uh, I would say there's definitely stuff in it for adults to enjoy as well. And the themes, I think a lot of adults will really resonate with as well. And so, uh, so seeing these kids walk around with these Spider-Man beanies on that had like Miles Morales his eyes on them and then some of them got like glass like sunglasses that lit up you know um and like like flashed red lights and stuff uh so there was kids walking around with those uh, a lot of spider shirts around for sure uh i saw people dressed up as spider-man both miles morales version and peter parker version i saw a guy there just as venom which was pretty cool i uh, got a picture with him and spider-man um so yeah man i just had just the best time at this event and once we went in like you know I had physical therapy in the morning so I was kind of already tired I rushed home walked my dog I had like maybe 45 minutes to myself of just like laying here and being like all right just rest take a breath you know get ready prepare yourself take your medicine get, you know get ready for this big event and uh, then I changed and then just bolted out the door and then when I got there um, you know, we went to Will Call, we got our tickets, we met Tombstone, uh, like the actor that plays Tombstone was really cool, we saw him, uh, right when we were picking up our tickets, and then I didn't see any other celebrities until, you know, after the movie, till the, you know, we went to the after party, um, but, uh, Andrew, I think, went around and got a lot of great footage, and I went around and shot as much as I could, but then we went into the theater, I sat there, I was like, I can't, you know, I gotta save my energy for the after par uh, party, because I'm sure it's gonna be intense, so I'll just sit here patiently and wait for the movie to start, so I was kind of like one of the only ones in the theater for like 45 minutes, like, <laughs> there was like, as people slowly started to trickle in closer to four o'clock. Uh, but then the movie started at 4.30, we saw it, and then afterwards we walked down this, uh, you know, they let us out of the building. We passed Jack Black, which was pretty cool to see Jack Black there. So there was people there that were just like fans. There were people there that were networking. I think some of the cast, uh, I think Harrison Wells from The Flash Show, I think we saw him there. There was a couple other actors and actresses that went there, and I think to mingle or, you know, to you know to uh, network, I guess, um, because this movie, I, it draw, it's drawing a lot of attention, especially with the Rotten Tomato score, uh, which, you know, purely, you know, I don't really care to much about stuff like that obviously they gave Venom a really negative uh, score you know all the critics and stuff and they were really hating on that movie and then uh, you know and it, but it still did really well this one has a high score but I hope this movie does well too like I, I scores aside I don't really let those influence me but some people out there do uh, they it makes them decide whether they want to pay to see the movie or not and I'm glad people didn't let that affect them buying Venom tickets uh, but I'm curious to see if it'll uh, people let this affect them buying tickets to this movie because I feel like some people who might not normally go see animated movies might end up going to see this and I, I hope so because the animation in is wonderful um, and again we'll talk about that more in a minute uh, but then you know we you know went outside to the party they had like all these food trucks lined up all the spider-man trucks and uh, and then they had um, like like these little booths where they gave out these shirts so I actually got one of these shirts made with my name on it 
uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I thought this was really cool. And then they also um, had like shoes. They were like giving away Jordans, I think, uh, that were like designed after Miles' shoes from the movie. But they were they were only in kid sizes, which again was cool. So all these kids, I think they were, I don't know if they were for sale or not. I thought I saw a credit card reader, uh, but I don't know if they were for sale because nothing really else there was for sale. So uh, I'm thinking they just handed out these shoes, <laughs> which is uh, insane. Like they were just handing out these like, you know, exclusive Jordans for kids uh, from, from the show from the movie Miles Morales uh, what he wore in the film so um, yeah I thought that was crazy uh, it was pretty much these shoes right here yeah boom um, so yeah that's what they had and they were I think they were only in kid sizes but um you know after that we walked in there was a big warehouse and that's where the party was and you saw all that footage there and you got to see all the celebrities I got to meet and all the people that worked on the movie uh, Peter Ramsey uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller um, I got to meet Jake Johnson Shamik Moore um, you know it's just I had just the greatest time ever we, we were in the line for like a virtual reality thing and we got to talk to um, a, some a producer that works on other projects and their friend I guess worked on the movie so they came to like support their friend and uh, it was just really great we met some really amazing people and uh, and I had just the best time ever and I was definitely overwhelmed there was a lot going on there music lights a lot of things that normally really trip me up and, and cause me to have you know a lot of issues uh, but luckily I met cool enough people that I can focus in on a conversation and uh, and you know and just have fun at the party and I think Dan Slott was there and I actually had a comic book I had spider get in number one which is written by Christos Gage but um, but, uh, you know, uh, Dan Slott, I think, worked on the story. I was hoping to see Haley Steinfeld because I really wanted, I love Spider-Gwen. I wanted her to sign this, but I, I don't think she was there for long because I think she had to be in Berlin today in Germany. So if she was there, which I didn't see her, but if she was there, um, she wasn't there for very long. Uh, she had to go pretty quickly. Uh, and then um, some of the other stars left pretty early, too. So, uh, so but it was cool because a lot of the producers and the people behind the scenes hung out and we got to talk with them and it was just the best time. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's my summary of the night. I Overall, just a blast, had a great time. Uh, but as for the movie, we'll keep this really short. The movie, I am really racking my brain trying to find things I didn't like about the movie because as you guys know, I'm very critical on stuff. I'm very critical. I was even critical on Venom, even though we do the Venom vlog. Uh, I still gave that movie like a 7 out of 10. I was very critical of the things I thought they could have done better and, uh, and things I hope they do better in the sequel. But this one, when we got out of the movie, I just remember thinking, wow, that was great. Let me look back on things that I, I maybe didn't like. Let me start with the negatives before I start, you know, like really diving into the positives. And I was really having a tough time. And I know that sounds unbelievable to people. People are going to be like, oh, great. Seek sounds like all those other shills and all those other people out there. I'm legitimately having trouble. Like, I think... Uh, and it's not that I'm looking for things, you know, no movie's perfect, but it's so, but I'm not going in going like, I need to find something wrong with this movie. It wasn't so much that, uh, I was just looking for things to criticize. And I would say there was some things I would criticize in the villain department. Um, I would say maybe two villains were done really well. And then two villains or one villain was kind of like on the cusp of maybe being like it could have done well. And then the other three, um, you know, I would say weren't, they were just thugs. Like it was just like, oh, let's put a, like a, a classic Spider-Man character skin on basically a thug character. Like, you know, just like, all right, here's a goon, you know, and, uh, and but we're going to not make it just a, a regular goon that looks human. We're going to make it a character. And that's kind of how it felt, um, you know, with, with like two or three of those characters, uh, which I would say is pretty standard for me, at least with Sony experiences like Resident Evil. It's like, oh, we'll just call this guy Chris Redfield, even though he doesn't really do anything that Chris Redfield is like in the video games. Um, and then like in Spider-Man Homecoming, hey, let's call this person Ned or this person Flash. Uh, but let's not really give them the, too many of the characteristics of those characters. And so that's kind of how I felt these characters were treated. Um, so I would have liked to see a little bit more on that front from a couple of the villains. Not the main uh, two villains, uh, but uh, but some of the other underling villains. And then there was like a third one. I, don't, I just don't want to spoil anything because there's some scenes that they put out online where like uh, Peter and Miles are like swinging through the woods and being chased by like security guards. There's actually a whole villain in that scene that they cut out uh, from that sequence to put online. So when you watch it in the movie, you're going to go, whoa, what? That wasn't in the, the YouTube. So this, they are doing a really good job hiding things from you guys, uh, which is amazing. Sony's usually really good at putting the last shot of the movie in their trailers. And this one, they hid so much. There are some cool surprises in this movie, um, especially if you're a longtime Spider-Man fan. So uh, yeah, this is, it's really great stuff. I, I ultimately really enjoyed the movie. And I would, I would honestly say I would give this movie a nine out of 10. That's how good it is. And I, I it's weird because I know you're like, well, you didn't find anything negative. Why wouldn't you give it a perfect 10? I'm going to go see it a second time. As you know, with my Venom, you know, review, 
Uh, the first time I gave it an eight, but then after my third viewing of the movie, I, it dropped down to a seven and I felt like I was very comfortable at that seven. So right now I'm at a nine. It could go up to a 10. I, I highly doubt it's going to drop to an eight after my second viewing. So it's at least getting a nine out of 10 from me. But I really, like I said, the villain thing that kind of hurt it a little bit, but that is really all I got. <laughs> like it doesn't hurt the movie really that much. Uh, so I would say this is somewhere in between a nine and a 10 for me. And a lot of people out there saying this is the best Spider-Man movie ever. It's, I mean, it's really good. It captures everything that makes Spider-Man Spider-Man and puts it into a really tremendous character like Miles Morales. And it's not just Miles Morales' journey too. I mean, it's mostly his journey. It's his origin story. But you get these other characters, these other spider people from the Spider-Verse that have all been through these things that Miles has yet to go through. And they're kind of trying to guide him, but they ultimately don't really believe in him because he's very early on and they remember how they were early on and how not ready they were. So they kind of project that onto Miles and Miles, you know, ends up surprising a lot of people, um, including the characters in the movie and including myself, because I feel like this is a character that after Bendis just really didn't have, even some of later Bendis stuff wasn't really handled that well in the comics. And so, you know, it was great to see him shine so much in this movie and to see that it was a story about him growing like a coming of age tale which a lot of spider-man origin movies should be that should be a coming of age tale in a way uh, because of the youth of spider-man you know typically when he first gets his powers so you have that in miles but then you have this peter parker who is on the other side of the spectrum who has given up and for very interesting reasons and very dynamic and, and cool uh reasons because i never thought i would have seen that on screen uh, you know spider-man like that and these two need each other and it's not just about you know one mentoring miles but it's also about miles teaching him you know peter parker something and so it's and it choked me up. I got teary-eyed a couple times in a movie. I know that sounds pathetic to some people, but for me, as a longtime Spider-Man fan, I was just really blown away. And so that's my rating right now, 9 out of 10, uh, but it might go up. We'll see after my second viewing, and when we do our spoiler review, we'll break it down big time. But that'll be in about two weeks from now, so I hope you can wait for that. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know all your thoughts down below of the night. I know a lot of you, maybe some of you saw the movie. If you did, don't, you know, try not to, you know, do any spoilers down below. Uh, just try to be as vague as possible. And if you haven't seen the movie, you know, be careful of the comments below just in case, but let me know what you thought of the night uh, itself. And if you have any questions, let me know those down below. Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the Venomverse. Peace.